LSCC. So, so from that, uh, they are fetching these chain codes. Uh, Arun. And, and uh, do they fetch like get installed contracts or do they fetch get approved or get committed? How is the fetch up happening? Whatever it is like uh, uh, committed chain codes only they are fetching. So entire, so this chain code, like whatever the chain codes that we try to install, right? As part of uh, chain code uh, installation process. So that is being fetched from the PR. There are three steps, right? Like install, approve, and commit. Um, if it is fetching, like get installed, then it could be on single peers. And then get approval happens on organization level. Commit happens at network level. And, and there are APIs for all three, like get approved chain codes, get approved, get committed chain codes. I think there is also an API called get installed chain codes. So this chain codes, uh, I think. Uh, uh, we, we, no worries. I mean, we can check that back, but that's just most likely why this discrepancy is happening. Uh, whatever it, the reason it might be, but uh, you know, in the chain codes, like when we switch to other channel, what are the part of this particular channel, right? So those chain codes has to be, we have to fetch, right? Correct. So so the way it happens is um, the install step, which is like, so, okay, let's, let's imagine it this way, right? Install is a command that we typically run to copy something into the peer node. And once we copy something into the peer node, we tell to, we, we, we say that, hey, I installed a package which has this ID and I'm willing to run this at the sequence number. That's the approval that happens at our organization level. And the third step is somebody in the network across organizations will say, all the organizations have now some version of contract with them and they have all approved their own respective packages. Let us all commit to this sequence. Right. So um, when we talk about channel, we can we can either do uh, like approved contracts shown here, or we could do only committed contracts shown here. If it is approved contracts, then again, it's at organization level. And there should be some kind of abstraction defined so, so that we have- Whatever you're saying, right? Uh, that... Sorry, uh, those APIs which are available, I'm not aware, uh, Arun. So uh, I'll show you the method uh, which is fetching the um, chain codes, okay? Maybe we could add like a new column in this, which, which says these are the contracts that were sent for approval. And this is the sequence where it was approved. These are the organizations that have approved. And then if it is already committed, we could also say it's committed. That way it shows both the status and the current, uh, like the only the ones which are belonging to the channel. Uh, this is query instantiated chain codes. Okay, instantiated chain codes we would get. So installed and instantiated two, Two chain okay. codes we can really I think check, that right? instantiate uh, instantiate is like the previous to life cycle if I'm not wrong. Not right at Okay. I think the yeah. uh, the main uh, significance would be for the committed chain code because uh, this explorer is main intended to show the network view. Uh, we can have some approved as well, uh, but I think install will not have that much significance because now. When we talk about install chain code, we are talking about the peer level details. And uh, when we talk about, like, uh, like Arun said, we, when we talk about approve, we are talking about the organization level. When we talk about commit, we are talking at the net, entire network level. So uh, we need to, uh, like, the just the, the, the network tab, which is there, right? It shows the height across all the peer nodes, uh, the, the unsigned height, right? Same, uh, right? So that that is the view at the peer level. 
but uh, for chain code as well, if if you if we want to give the install view, then we have to give it at a PL level. If we want to go for approve approval view, then we have to give the org level. Or if we want to give just a network level view, right now it is, then we can show the committed chain codes only. Okay. So we could do something like, um, like we don't support the old way of chain code deployments anymore in the Explorer tool as part of the mm -hmm. next release. And we only support lifecycle based chain codes. And that will change from get instantiated to get committed chain codes. There should be another API for that instead of get instantiated. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, this anyways, we have fixed the issue. So now we could able to, you know, fetch the right chain codes as part of that particular channel. Oh, okay, nice. So these two issues have been fixed. One is a query change. So with respect to version, we were taking the transaction count. That is also have been fixed. So. Uh, and uh, this is chain code metadata also. There is an issue uh, we have observed. Uh, these are all issues we were observing. This goes fine when it is with single channel, but we were when we are trying to test with multiple channel scenario, then we could able to see a lot of issues coming up. So one such issue is also we found out with uh, a chain code metadata. This this win also we have fixed it, and uh, there was little change in the query uh, blocks pagination when we are trying to fetch the records right. Uh, uh, like some of the records we were not able to fix. This is with respect to the version of uh, 2.4.7. As the first transaction wouldn't have a, a creator MSP, right? Because of that, we were there was little change. So, and uh, in order to like uh, make this code viable for both the versions, like 2.2 and 2.4.7. So we have tested in both the versions and fixed this. And one major issue what uh, we have seen was like, uh, so this, this issue what it is like with respect to ledger height and the status of the nodes. So if we see here, we have two channels. Uh, in channel two, we have 30 blocks and 30 transactions. So if I switch to network tab, here I'm able to get the uh, proper ledger height. And uh, when I switch to other channel, if you see in dashboard, I we have 52 blocks and 52 transactions, but I switch to network tab, whatever the ledger height that it's been picked right, so this ledger height is of the peers of other channel. So uh, this is the. Uh, like, uh, is it due to like uh, uh, the API is not getting the right channel or like? Uh... Uh, it is due to the reason the API is getting the uh, correct input channel only. But mm -hmm. we have discovery service, right? So in the mm -hmm. discovery service, it is able to pick only the channel which we have mentioned as part of CCP. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. uh, and other thing is like, so whatever the data it is being displayed, it is of only one channel always. And the status also, if we see here, uh, so when I down one of the order, uh, in one of the channel only, it is reflecting. When I switch to, uh, I'll show that also better. I can down one of the.
And meanwhile, I'll show Mr. Lots. So from discovery results, we are uh, like the input, what we are getting is channel two. And when we try to print the discovery service, it is of other channel, my channel. And, um, so again, uh, in the discovery results, the my channel B and in the discovery service, my channel B, this is fine. So channel two, input, discovery service, my channel B. So this is, this for this reason, I think it is always picking one channel information. So if you see here uh, in channel two, this one, it is reflecting correctly, but if it's switch to other channel, this is not coming up. And uh, this is reflecting only if I restart the server. Here I'm able to get the like uh, error. It is like connected is false. But when from the network, if I try to get the discovery results, it is always shown as true. Under the other channel, it is false. Looks like we need to spend some uh, time on the discovery service. Uh, oh, there is one common, mm -hmm. a common function called get discovery result, which is called by uh, 223 functions. So I thought synchronization or uh, concurrency might be causing the issue then, but everywhere it is async abater promises are used. Mm -hmm. Then we tried like using mutex uh, to log the function, but that is also, it is also not working. See, after the server restart, then only we could able to fetch the status. Maybe we can plan for some session on this debugging. So somehow we could able to work around this, but the problem is like uh, we could able to get the ledger height correctly, but still there is a problem in fetching the status of the um, nodes. Just I would like to show that.
you started the uh, order now achana uh, i have restarted yes. okay so one quick question like as a part of this release that we'll do uh, uh, is there any uh, other dependency apart from the the bug that you uh, shared this discovery service bug no this is the only major thing uh, aditya apart from that everything we tested end to end so everything mm-hmm. is okay so other things whatever minor issues we found right we fixed mm-hmm. everything and we write the pr also so this is the only issue which is uh, like we need to decide whether we can go with the release or we need to fix this and go for release that we have to take a decision because we tried most of the methods whatever available uh, still we are uh, trying to fix it but we are not we not get the actual uh, scenario like approach which we can take it to fix this one so we have uh, changed the code and we tried okay so like if we see here in channel we have 3030 this is updated correctly 3030 so in my channel b we have 52 right in the network also we were able to get uh, 52 but the problem is like status is not updating so if i stop one of the mm-hmm. then how much ever time we wait uh, this won't uh, get this won't get updated hmm. uh, i think uh, but, i think uh, we can go with the we can we can go with the release and like as soon as we fix this we can have a patch release after this uh, and we can call out this as a known bug uh, in the release notes and this is absolutely working fine with the one channel uh, mm-hmm. scenario only when we have multiple channels huh? that can be called out in the release note uh, we can call this out out in the release note this is this is updating after the server restart mm-hmm. so what we thought was like uh, whatever uh, gateway instance we are using right will reinitialize a gateway and uh, um fetch the network again connect to channel and everything but thing is that is also not working out it is uh, it is throwing an error like no discovery targets are found reinitialize a network also did not work out and even um, discovery service we tried to like reset up mm-hmm. uh that is also is not being working here mm. okay. so i think then we have to spend more time on this like after restart server restart we could able to get the status mm. so where this is actually going wrong uh, we try debugging the code but the thing is like uh, majorly found uh, the issue is coming with discovery service so apart from that everything is working fine um, except uh, this ledger height and uh, status Uh, and one more update uh, so like uh, we need to uh, aditya he has tested uh, your pr uh, in like building the pipelines it took almost 1 hour 57 minutes it seems for him i know uh, so this is not with this particular project like i saw this thing with uh, uh, one other project as well uh, it's just taking time the build is taking mm-hmm. time uh, we need to check if this is the limitation from or or if, if we can get some support from this labs account because i think the right now the all those jobs or pipelines might be scheduled on a on 
on a on a queue based on a queue based container so let's let's talk with rai and see if we can uh, get something on this you're talking about that uh, ci pipeline right github ci pipeline pr yes, which has yes, two yes. things brilliant test uh, hmm. yes yes hmm. uh, it's not the problem with the code actually it's the problem with the uh, github actions like they are taking too much time Uh, uh, slightly here there was an issue like uh, this was moving out of this uh, of this mm -hmm. this model mm -hmm. so this uh, this has been it's a normal simple uh, a css fix uh, mm -hmm. verma has done it mm -hmm. so these are the like aditya and uh, <laughs> reviews we need from you oh okay now oh. You can ping me the uh, PRs where you need the reviews. Okay. Like like the major PRs, I think there are some basic PRs, like the this one which four zero two and three eight nine. Okay, you can you can ping me the major PRs that you have, uh, that is that are needed okay. for this reviews. Uh, I'll 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 look into them. Okay. Thanks. So these are from our side, uh, Aditya and Arun. Uh, Satya, anything more we need to discuss? Yeah, then that's all. So only the now, uh, what will be the plan for the release that we have to uh, discuss, uh, Aditya and Arun, right? So when we can <clears throat> plan for the release? I think first we can uh, close these PRs, uh, the mm -hmm. one that I was showing, and then probably we can do one final mm -hmm. final round of a testing from the main branch, mm -hmm. like once these PRs are merged, and then we can mm -hmm. uh, go ahead for the release. And I think by that time, those uh, 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 that GHCR PR will also get merged, and mm -hmm. uh, we can release those images on the uh, on this uh, on the GHCR. So, uh, like, uh, 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 that that PR, that GHCR PR, like, it has two features, like you just mm -hmm. call out that. So, one feature is like uh, it will create the Docker images. It will it will create the release. Uh, whenever you will create a new release or a tag, it will create a <clears throat> image particular corresponding to the tag number. So, let's say if you create a tag, let's say two dot o. Explorer 2.0, so it will create an image with a, a tag 2.0. And whenever you push something to the main branch, there is one more uh, job that will trigger and that will build that uh, Docker image with the latest tag. So whatever is there in the latest tag, uh, whatever is there in the latest, uh, like latest main branch, that will be called out in the uh, as a as a latest tag in the Docker image. And the release specific or the tag specific images will be there in the uh, uh, they will tag along with that version. <clears throat> okay. So maybe uh, next week uh, we'll try to uh, like uh, she uh, like we will share the all the PRs whatever the PRs we raised it. Mm -hmm. Maybe once this is reviewed and once this GHPR thing also com completed right. Mm -hmm. So we'll maybe we can plan for a date which you can uh, maybe release sure. for this. Hmm? Mm -hmm. sure. So we'll wait till we complete all these things, all the PRs merge and this one GHPR uh, approved. Then mm -hmm. we'll round, we'll do one round of testing completely. Then mm -hmm. we can uh, go with the date, any date. We can decide one date. <clears throat> also, can someone like take uh, like uh, take a look on the those two GHCR and the GitHub CI because I think they are also cru uh, crucial PR like. <laughs> Will not be able to build the images with until this PR is merged, uh, and the automated CI testing will not happen um, with that other PR. So, mm -hmm. I request uh, approval on those two. So, it's a review or any any testing is required Aditya, for that those things. I think uh, I think it's review only. Uh, okay. I, I did one round of from my side like before raising these PRs. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Arun, can you uh, uh, like uh, approve those things? Like whatever Aditya has done, or is already one round review has happened already? I think. Okay, um, Aditya, can you share me the PR numbers? I'll get get that review. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, sir. <clears throat> So one more thing from my side, uh, like once we merge all the PRs, right, uh, we would try to build the images locally uh, and then we would like to test with the Dockerized version also. So we are doing mm -hmm. parallelly actually, building the images locally and testing. So we did not find major issues. Uh, some like while building the images, uh, node modules are out of date, such type of uh, errors we are getting. But because of which that uh, image building is uh, not stopping, it is building. Okay. So Arun, you're asking about from moving the project to labs to top level project, right? From uh, continuously, like this discussion is coming up. Right. <clears throat> so I think we'll have a good um, steps given that we also have a meetup coming up and then the release, all of this should be a good way uh, to prove to TUC that we are very much active project and we should be a top level project and it will drive more contributions. For sure. Mm. Yeah, sure. So the document, once we are done with the release, we'll uh, do those activities. Okay. Makes sense. Mm. Okay. I think it's uh, so different people have done it differently in the past. Few people, mm. like few of the projects, they created a presentation, right? Like a PPT. And they mm -hmm. say, here is the ask that was there in the TOC steps. And this is what we have done to achieve that. And this is what we have been following for the last few months. Mm. And the few teams, what they have done is they created a confluence with all those steps listed, like an explanation for why they think they should be top level project. We can mm. think of intuitive way of how we can sh share across our learnings or why we should be top level project. Sure, sure. Yeah, we can, we can do that. We first will try to concentrate on the release, then meet up, then maybe parallelly we'll do that also. Makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's all from our side. Maybe anything else like uh, that other scope side, we are okay. The like anyway, user, user management thing you told you're working on that one design document. So apart from that, nothing we can see. Maybe Manoj, you need anything? Or you are done with your setup and all everything? <clears throat> uh, so I, I tried setting up uh, Explorer uh, with the test network okay. and uh, with, with some uh, other network, uh, which is running on the So I didn't face any issues. Uh, so uh, I, I was able to successfully bring up the Hepalachia uh, Explorer and, uh, and uh, I saw some. I performed yeah, some yeah. reflections, and I, I saw the reflection reflections there in the in browser. So and I also completed the like brushing of the concepts of the KBA course. So, mm. Yeah, yeah good, good, good good. So regarding uh, this uh, ledger height and uh, if there is any quick fix before the release, uh, like if I could get help from Aruna Raditya, like any API is available directly from where we can fetch the ledger height or status. Uh, is there anything we could get uh, from the documentation, Aditya Aruna? I think there is a channel API, right, which gives us ledger height current ledger height. Uh, Correct. Uh, so in the 
PHCLI as well. We will find that get channel, get info. I think. Get info. It is like uh, you know when we SSH into that PR and we execute, right? Uh, that is a command, but oh, no. okay, okay. API so, level. Okay, so so yeah, there 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 are APIs. Uh, I was talking about from the C. So whatever is there in the CRI, you will find uh, definitely. You sh there should be some APIs uh, for those options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, CLI is an API request uh, mm -hmm. to the actual peer node. That's how CLI works, right? So there is this corresponding API. I think we can do that ledger height at channel level and also at individual peer level. Uh, I was searching else from anyone? The, yeah. Yeah. I was searching for that API. I found that in the Java mm -hmm. SDK. I don't know okay. the corresponding thing in the Node SDK. It's it's available at the channel level to get the ledger height information in the Java SDK. So one other way that I know is like you can call the uh, C C S C C chain code uh, directly that that gives you the channel related details. So that can give you the channel height as well. You can even query that system chain code. That is one of the ways. CSCC, Aditya? Hmm, right. Just like you call the normal channels, right? You can call the CSCC chain code. CSCC, yes, yes. Hmm. Okay. Arun, the Java SDK thing, whatever you found, you can just ping here so we'll try to see anything available for node.js also we'll check that <clears throat> yep I, it's doing the um channel system chain uh -huh. sorry chain code system chain code only it's sorry okay. the channel system chain code mm -hmm. Uh, one thing I would like to ask, Manoj, you have Discord account? Because the way of communication I have to do only through mails. Uh, so if you can drop your uh, mobile number or Discord ID, then it could be like easy to communicate with you. Sure, sure. I already joined and uh, sent a message on Friday, I guess. Regarding the on creators. Discord? Yeah, in this Anything else, Archana, we need to discuss? Uh, no, Satya, it's good to go. Okay. Yeah, that's all from our side, uh, Arun Aditya. So if you find any information on these things, right, getting status and all, you can just pass with us. Meanwhile, I will, we will share the PRs with you to, for review. Okay. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, everyone.